Hi guys, it's Luton here, and I'm back for you with another episode of The Cutting Room. Now, this is actually a bit of a YouTube-themed one, rather than an actual editing one. Now, this is mainly going to be aimed at people who are using kind of older uh, games, for example, PlayStation or before, so any of your cartridge systems, you know, Mega Drive, um, the Genesis, or um, the SNES, etc, etc, perhaps 64, the GameCube, any of these things. Now, on some of these games, sometimes you have an option to change your kind of aspect ratio and so on. Um, or, I don't know, I mean, there's various situations where this could actually come up, but I just wanted to show this as a very simple solution. It requires no processing whatsoever, and um, it's one that I think many people wouldn't know. So basically you can see that when I, um, I recorded Final Fantasy VII from the PlayStation 3, now on my PlayStation when I was playing the game it was at perfect ratio, okay, um, when the Game Capture HD recorded it, this is, it looked fine as well, but then this is actually what you get when you put it to YouTube, when you export and publish to YouTube, you can see it adds this huge black space and it's to do with the ratio of the game. Now, it's kind of frustrating, and generally what I have done before is export the game, you know, the gameplay, and then edited, cropped it down, and then, you know, published like that. So when it comes into YouTube, it's correct. But there is another way that you can do it, and it's very, very simple. Now, I'm going to go over to the actual video manager, okay? So that's where the, the video you can edit as a publisher and, and change all your settings. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the tags section. And what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to add this tag... And that tag is yt colon crop equals 16 colon 9. And what that's doing is it's telling YouTube to crop the video down to a 16 9 ratio. Now when we save this, okay, and then we go back to our video over here, and I'm just going to refresh this, and then we will see that the video is now displaying at the correct ratio, so for the audio coming in there. But you can see that basically it now has upgraded this, and we can enlarge this as well, look. Okay, it's put it to the correct ratio. I'll put it up to 480 here. Won't make, much, <laughs> won't make any difference though, because of the quality of the game in general. But um, yeah, basically that's one way around this. Um, it puts it up to the correct ratio, and it's as simple as that. It's just a tag posted into the video. Um, I don't expect that people will come across this particularly often, but it is a good one to know, because if you do come across it, it's a kind of frustrating problem, and you might not want to spend the time having to reprocess all your video simply to do it. So thanks for watching this one guys, I hope it will help some people out, and uh, you know, obviously if you ever hear of someone having the same problem, make sure to make them aware of it yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Cutting Room.